Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. So after I share my video on Wing Chun is about momentum, not forward intention, forward pressure, those kind of stuff. I have received many messages from our Wing Chun friends around the world and also some of our friends uh, share with me that there are a lot of discussions in the uh, some different type of uh, Wing Chun forums. And I noticed that in all these discussions and all these messages, there are a few typical uh, conversations and uh, I like to share with you my view on what people's thinking on this uh, a few typical uh, uh, ideas now at first I was uh, thinking why bother but then there are something which is actually uh, trigger me to want to share what I like to share with you today. There is an issue in traditional Chinese martial arts. If we don't clear it up, clean it up, we're really going to lose it. So you might thinking, well, you know, I go crazy again, you know, probably I'm going to start my own cult and so forth, so forth. Well, let me tell you what happened. A few days ago, Xi Xiaodong made a public letter to respond to one of his challenge in Asia. My friend sent it to me and it is at the 16 hours after the uh, Xi Xiaodong made the public uh, letter, I see this, okay? And within the letter, he said this. Xi Xiaodong said, I'm going or I have told the world that Tai Chi Quan is good for fitness and recreation. It is not suitable for fighting, be it in the street or in the ring. Chinese martial art is backward or not up to date. I am not twisting my words or lie about this Chinese martial art issue. I am responsible for every single word I say. So, we know that Xi Xiaodong has been there for what, four years, almost four years now. So he said that traditional Chinese martial art is uh, out of date. Okay. Now, if you look at that, will you like to accept that? Or we can all sit in our own home and believe, make believe that we are in the top of the world, disregard of uh, what is the reality in the world today. Really, sadly, if you look at what Xi Xiaodong said, that is the truth. That is the truth. So in Wing Chun, do we want to do something about Wing Chun? Or we sit 
in our living room watching the videos, be it the demonstrations of any grandmaster or the movie, and make believe that uh, we are on top of the world. So this is up for you to think about. And because of all of this, today I'd like to share this with you. Okay? Now, one of the comments usually people make when they see something is, that is not Wing Chun. So when people see my video yesterday, they say, well, that is not Wing Chun. Okay? It's often like that. The second thing is, people start to show their tanta standing in EG Kamyong Ma or their back stands or in their structure and say that there is large momentum. The third thing is somebody say, you know, this past grandmaster, this late grandmaster have his punch, internal power, all kind of stuff. So I got these three types of a common comments. And you know what's the reality? Number one, that is not Wing Chun. What are you based on to say that it is Wing Chun or it is not Wing Chun? And that's why in this channel, I classify it as Wing Chun 1850, Wing Chun 1960. Because this is not up for my creativity. 1850s Wing Chun, which is according to the ancient Chinese, as yesterday in the new vi uh, in the uh, video I show you, from Qi Qi Guang from Shaolin Short Strike to the 1850s uh, uh, Queen Quit writing, they are all aligned. That's what the 1850s Wing Chun is about. 1960s Wing Chun is like today's Wing Chun, and that is not the same with the 1850s Wing Chun. But I didn't say that that is not Wing Chun, right? This is all based on evidence. It's not based on I like it or I don't like it. So, so the so-called, this is not Wing Chun. Do you know what is Wing Chun? Ask the question first. And yet in this channel, I present you the evidence. What is and what is not, objectively, scientifically. So stop the using that is not Wing Chun. The second thing is, large momentum, as I mentioned in the yesterday's video, the instability or the large, uh, the large momentum which can cause instability. That has to do with momentum in physics, which is mass multiplied by your velocity. Or another word is body weight multiplied by high speed. That is momentum. So momentum is not you standing in your uh, EG Kamyong Ma or your structure or your back stand and keeping doing your chain punch and showing me your tanta. That got nothing to do with momentum or large momentum I mentioned. That's got to do with your arm momentum, but not the momentum I'm talking about, the large momentum where the entire body go in a high speed. The body move, dynamic, okay? So, one need to know what is the momentum. Again, you're holding your body there, that is not the thing which is the Shaolin Short Strike book or General Chi Chi Guang or 1850s Wing Chun talking about. The third thing is powerful punch with internal power got nothing to do with large momentum. So momentum is momentum. What is internal power? Can you please define it? As for the large momentum, okay, you can see in any of Mike Tyson's video clip. 
when he practice, when he spar, when he spar, when Mike Tyson fight or spar, you can see that large momentum. Okay, and ask yourself, does any internal art, a uh, a uh, a uh, grandmaster in this world can deliver those type of momentum, those kind of power like Mike Tyson? If not. Then better don't say it. Okay. Now, as in the last video, we know it very clearly now. 1850s Wing Chun Queen. It is about dynamic momentum. P is in physics momentum. N V yes, like in the physics. Okay, dynamic. Momentum play. That is General Shi Jiguang, 1560. And then the Shaolin Sword Strike. The first Q&A already it get into the handling of the dynamic momentum where you need to recycle the momentum. You need to recycle the momentum or re returning the momentum. Otherwise, you will get an unstable Footwork. That's the first Q&A of the Southern Short Strike Classic. 1850, uh, 1850s, Xiu Tao. That's about dynamic mobility control. You have to have dynamic uh, mobility control in today's language. Today's scientific language is called mobility control. So, 1850s, Xiu Tao sets writing have clearly write about this dynamic mobility control with the Shaolin classics dynamic return or uh, dynamic recycle of the momentum and it accord to the general Chi Chi Guangs of fighting is a dynamic momentum play. So that's the reality of 1850 Wing Chun. It doesn't matter who the hell one is or who which grandmaster in the past 160 years, nobody, nobody can override this. No grandmaster can override this. Because this is real Chinese martial arts. Okay? If you want to override this, go write a letter to Xi Xiaodong and tell him what you know and uh, what the grandmaster can do and let Xi Xiaodong answer to you. But I guarantee you, if you send this to Xi Xiaodong, you say that once upon a time, in 1850, Wing Chun is like this. Today, we probably not develop until uh, to this advanced level. You see what Xi Xiaodong said. You see, the issue is this. You want to champion your ancestor, you better get evidence so that you even be able to get Xi Xiaodong agree with it. It's like if my grandfather is a billionaire and I'm broke. I'm okay I'm broke, but my grandfather is billionaire. That need to be defend, that need to be champion. Not to mention that we have a lot of technical data here. So it is really Silly, do not look at the data and keeping sitting down there and say this is not Wing Chun, uh, this is Wing Chun with the sun punch, with the, the structure and uh, with all this mind power. We got nothing to do with what the, the, the real Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese martial is. And you think you can, you can, uh, you can uh, cheat like people like Xi Xiaodong who really know how to fight. I have to wake up on this kind of thing. Now, dynamic mobility control. I use a modern term today to represent what is in the Queen Quit of 1850s Wing Chun or what is in your Xiu Tao, the sets, the Wing Chun sets which practiced in 1850. Now, dynamic mobility in today's sports science and uh, rehabs and so forth, we know that Movement, movement 
is a function of stability, handling of the body, mobility, and the mobility control. That's belong to the movement. And on top of this movement, there's endurance, which is based on strength and power. And on top of this endurance, there is the dynamic skill. So if you want to have this dynamic momentum, you better go through this. Develop your body according to this. This is science. Okay? And I often say that, I often share with you guys things that people who know be able to read your body's signature. In fact, today's the sports coach, the, uh, the, the rehab coach, they be able to read your body with this. This is a science now. Read your stability of your body, read the mobility, read the uh, mobility control, read your strength, read your power, all this scientific stuff. And then they know whether you, you get this dynamic uh, handling skill or not. Who can lie to who? Who can cheat to who today? Everything is transparent. Okay? So wake up. Stop to be a doo-doo bird. Put your head down there and go home. Put in your garage. Put a, put a heavy bag or put a wooden dummy. And then uh, make believe that one is in the, like in the Wing Chun movie. This is reality. This is what the Western science is. And that's why Xi Xiaodong said, you guys, Chinese martial art is really backward, out of date. Yeah. You go analyze the traditional Chinese martial art, whatever you mean on with this. What does the Western science today, sports science today, don't have? They be able to analyze you. But do your Chinese martial art even know what the heck are you doing? So, so like people like Xi Xiaotong in this MMA training, this is all designed programming system. They know what they are training. They know what they are going to do. They know their performance. It's like our hero, Mike Tyson. They have all this thing sorted out and developed and they train that way. And now if we keep in saying that is not Wing Chun, momentum, when people talk momentum, you say, oh, this Tan Da Lap Da. Those are just arm techniques, not even have to, you know, have that not even involved in your body, which is the momentum is body weight multiplied by high speed. Look at Mike Tyson. Can you take one, one strike of that? And not to mention Mike Tyson will using the return or recycle of his momentum. Just look at Mike Tyson. Okay? Real life is that. This is not movie. Okay? Now, so returning momentum or recycle use of the momentum is like the Porsche. You know? When the Porsche traveling really fast, say 80 miles per hour, it'd be able to do cornering. While a usual car cannot do it, the usual car had to slow down before it go do it. Or otherwise the entire thing, the, the, the car will, will, will flip or turn upside down. So it's the same issue. So this is the first questions in the uh, Shaolin Classic. When you go in the large momentum, will your footwork stable? If it's not stable, you'll flip over or you have to break and thus. You know why people afraid <clears throat> or they cannot take uh, uh, pressure in a real sparring or a real fight? One of the reasons is because they know their body become unstable when once they go punching. You know why people stand in the, 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 the structure stance? 
when they fight because they afraid that that at a large momentum their body go unstable so they try keeping holding that do you know why people stand at back stand and not not don't dare to stand in front stands same reason but you look at Mike Tyson you look at how he handled that recycle momentum the returning of momentum that's why he have no fear he can go look at Mike Tyson then he play like a, a sickle too so don't look at like a, in a galaxy far far away on this sickle thing and all this thing like somebody asked me can you share with me the move what move recycling momentum is the handling of the body mechanics according to the today's science you need to have the movement handles the endurance handles and then you have the skill of returning or reusing or recycling your momentum at high speed just look at mike tyson okay of course it is not the same with uh, those uh, playing sets like chinese martial art, or even the uh, tai chi set what tai chi set is move it doesn't have a high momentum you know that is moving like that that's why she said don't say that's only for fitness you don't have the form momentum to the, the, the large momentum to generate the impulse. That's why you look at the Xi Xiaodong versus Lei Lei three, four years ago. In the first fight, it goes slam in with the momentum. What can Lei Lei do? That is high or large momentum. And you look at Xi Xiaodong, when he shoot it out, he just keep continue shoot it out from different direction. We Lei Lei Le cannot take it. Well, so do Xi Xiaodong have this recycle of momentum or returning momentum as the first uh, Q&A in the Saudian classic talk about? Yes, they have it. And if we don't have it, if we don't even have whatever heck our ancestor teach us the first lesson and your opponent have it, you still want to fight him or you just walk away? That's how serious now. Your grandmaster's name or anybody's grandmaster name will not build one out from that. Why? Because you violate even the first teaching of Shaolin Sword Strike. Didn't everybody say Wing Chun is Shaolin Sword Strike? So why don't why don't you know what is the first you need to know or you must know of Shaolin Sword Strike handling of a momentum if we don't know the momentum we don't know about the the recycling of momentum what do we know are we practice the shaolin art think about it and as you know from all this the ancient ancestor know <coughs> chi chi guang know the shaolin monk xuan ji who wrote the uh, who teach and then later on, his teaching get into this book, Shaolin Short Strike Classic. They all know. So per 1850s, they all know. Like uh, I show you in the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the 1850s creed, he said that you have to move, spiral and twisting naturally. That, that is this thing. So you can see all this clearly, technically. Now, if we don't train this, what are we training? Just sitting down there, this is not Wing Chun, that's not Wing Chun. But do you know what is Wing Chun? Do you know what is Chinese martial art culture? This thing can defense again. Xi Xiaodong. It's very simple. Just open this up. It says Xi Xiaodong. Okay, my grandfather is a billionaire. You see all this thing. You check all the bank account. What is the number there? Too bad I'm broke. I'm not my grandma's uh, grandfather. Well, I can admit that I'm not good. But my grandfather is a different story. What well, will he, will Xi Xiaodong, people like Xi Xiaodong accept that? Well, he have to accept that. Why? Because this is all black and white in writing. 
like you, you show the, 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 the billion as a bank account. There's no need to argue. And there's no not up for argument because there is reality. So all of this need to be known if you want to play in the impulse momentum games. And again and again I say that I, I share that we need to know the the the, uh, the standard of the ancient, such as the impulse momentum is the standard, the uh, the the six core element is the standard. If we don't know it, we are living in somewhere else, some kinds of a, a movie or fantasy. And, and that's why I wrote this book for six core elements. I wrote this for the impulse momentum and link it to physics. And then show how the body, the, uh, the, the, the leg, the arm, the, the footwork and so forth, all this has to be able to handle. And then over here, I show the edge model and so forth in the Wing Chun Inception. Why am I doing that? Is this because I want to be a grandmaster? I don't like to be a grandmaster, to, to, to be tell you this straight. What I concern is this thing. This is Westerns. This is known in Western sports science today or rehab science today. This is known in training of Olympics, MMA, Western boxing, all the professional stuff. This book is just to map the ancient into here. On one way is so that people who really want to train know what the ancient is doing in details. On another way is, there's a way to defend the Wing Chun ancestor in the Red Book. I'm not going to see the entire uh, 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 fall down where in one way everybody said, oh, this is not Wing Chun. No, you, you get 10 Wing Chun guy, you get 10 Wing Chun guys say the other people is not Wing Chun. But when Xi Xiaodong say something, everybody shut up. That's what it is. We need to prove all this thing. That's why, that's why all this book is written. The agenda is this. If you don't have whatever here, you don't have anything left. And you cannot be able to read what the ancient is talking about. Since Bruce Lee passed away, Bruce Lee passed away in 1973 until today, 70, 80, 90, 2000, 2001, 22. It's five, 50 years already. We don't go doing this. We go back to this is not Wing Chun. Bruce Lee uh, never study all the stats, all this nonsense. Okay? And while other people like Xi Xiaotong, like everybody already improving here, they got the technology, they're keeping improving. So you can predict how long your Wing Chun can last. It doesn't matter if it is Wing Chun 1960 or 1850, how long it can last. Looking at your competitor, like the MMA player, the BJJ player, the uh, Thai boxer, the, the, uh, the, the Western boxing player. And say that's why I say today, you know, I don't use myself as grandmaster. I have this uh, uh, secret uh, recycle momentum. Look at Mike Tyson. And in fact, Mike Tyson is more short strike Wing Chun than anybody today in this world. I can dare to say that. Mike Tyson's momentum handling is much closer to 1850s and above and pre-1850s Wing Chun or traditional Chinese martial more than any grandmaster living today 
or living in past hundreds of years. That's what it is. Why I dare to say that? Well, it's very simple. You look at Mike Tyson, you can scan what he's doing, you can screen what he's doing, you check it with the ancient traditional Chinese martial writing. When Mike Tyson can fulfill all this thing and the people who claim to be Wing Chun Grandmaster and so forth, so, 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 have not even touched the one third of what the, uh, the, the ancient uh, writing is about, you know what is the problem there. This is engineering. This is not religions. In the world of uh, fighting art, martial arts, the rule is, if you don't progress, you're obsolete. So this is to share with you, okay? Reality is not beautiful and not as what we like it. However, if we stay and stick with reality, work hard to it, one don't need to be the grandmaster or the, the, the best fighter in the world or the hero of the world. One can stand tall. Okay? That's what it is. I don't have to be the, the, the number one engineer in the Silicon Valley. I do my job. And people respect you because you do your job. Of course, if you are really good, people uh, praise to you. But if you do your job, people respect you. Because even those on the top know that it's not easy to get to the top. But who work hard, who have a really solid background, people know that. There are plenty of smart people in this world. 